Hi everyone, welcome again to the world of Agentic AI. My name is Sam and in this module, I'm going to dive into the AI agent stack, which is a modular framework that brings together critical component for creating sophisticated Agentic AI systems. So the purpose of this, of this stack is to simplify development while enabling scalability, adaptability, and task specialization. So each component of this stack play a unique role from things like model, which can help for decision making, to the memory that can ensure contextual continuity. So let's get started off this module. So AI agent stack. So think of it as a toolkit where each part work together to build intelligent interactive agents capable of sol solving complex problem. The stack's modularity ensure scalability so it can grow with increasing data or workload complexity. It's also highly adaptable, which means allowing for the customization of the component to meet and also um, address specific needs, whether it's for customer service, data analysis, or even creative content generation. It also uh, simplifies the development while enhancing functionality, which means better efficiency for the whole system. So let's dive deeper into each individual component of AI agent stacks. So in this um, slide, you can see key component of AI agent stack. So things like model, which actually derive decision making and lang language understanding, or storage, which actually helps to handle data embedding or even retrieval for efficient operation, and things like um, memory, which enable context retention access across task and interaction. So these six main components actually build the whole AI agent stacks. So let's go through each of these individual components um, in more details. We, st we start with the model, which is actually which is the brain of the AI agent stack, and it actually helps us to handle reasoning, language understanding, and complex computation. Each model is tailored for different needs and purposes. So here you can see example of uh, some of the key models that are usually used when I'm building a, a agentic AI system. So things like Grok, which is a um, high performance model for computationally intensive task. So it actually excel in task requiring higher computational performance. So I, I really like this specific model because it's very fast. And then also if you go to, to the website, there is a like a kind of sub free option. So if you wanted to just explore that model, I definitely suggest to just go and check it. Llama is more like a kind of local model. So if you don't want to deal with all these um, um, models like GPT, Grok, which are like you usually need API key in order to access to those models. You can use this Llama, which is more like a kind of local uh, open source model that you can run in your laptop and start to use it as part of your agentic AI system. So GPT-4, GPT-4.0 also are some other popular model that you can use to build your agentic AI system. So when choosing a model, consider factors like the complexity of the task or even like the required accuracy that you need for the whole system. Selecting the right model ensures the efficiency and also relevance for a specific application. So definitely I would suggest to explore different models to make sure you are choosing the right one. The next component of um, AI agent stack is the storage and databases. So storage is the backbone of the AI agent, which is responsible for organizing and retrieving the data relevant to your agent. So we have like a number of different um, options like specialized solution like Pinecone is a vector database, which is optimized for fast and scalable vector uh, processing. Or even like you have a, like a kind of options like Chroma, which is more like a kind of managed vector based types of database that you can leverage. When selecting a storage or database solution, make sure that you prioritize the speed and scalability to handle the growing data that you need for your um, whole AI system. Compatibility also with the model and the workflow that you are using is also is another important things that you need to consider when you are choosing a storage or database. The next component of the 
um, agent AI, um, like uh, AI agent stack is the memory, which is enables the AI agent to retain the context and make the interaction more natural and intelligent. So we have like solution like MemGPT, which are specialized in con context retention and can help the agent to learn and adapt over time. So if you are working with some of the frameworks also to build your AI agent, they usually provide some uh, kind of like um, memory capable of tooling and libraries that you can use to enable um, kind of uh, context retention for your um, agent. So one thing that you need to consider you need is the, the fact and the balancing of short-term and long-term memory, which is very crucial. So short-term memory ensures the agent can handle immediate tasks while long-term memory support ongoing learning and pattern recognition. So effective memory um, management uh, means the balancing between these two types of memory, which can enhance the agent capability. The next component of um, AI agent stack is tool libraries. So tools are the hands of the AI agent, which can enable them to perform a specialized task like data extraction, summarization, formatting, or even like web search. So there are like a number of um, available uh, libraries that provide tools uh, for a specific purposes. Like EXA uh, usually have a number of um, tools and libraries that focus on data extraction and manipulation. Or Compose.io is designed for creative ta text uh, composition tasks. Again, when you are using diff uh, like frameworks to build your ag uh, AI agent, they usually provide some capability to build a custom tool. So which is based on your need, you can develop a tools that can help the agent to achieve a specific task. So selecting the right tools ensures the agent can handle a diverse range of functionality while maintaining the efficiency and accuracy. So you need to make sure um, that the agent has the right tools so that it can actually ha um, um, like, um, address uh, the goals and the needs of um, the whole system. Next component of AI agent stack is the sandboxing which is uh, critical for safety testing and also isolating the task. So in a very complex and sensitive environment, there should be like a kind of place that you can, uh, or platform that you can leverage to uh, test uh, your your AI agent and isolate those. So platform like model provide the kind of like a secure space which where agent can operate without interfering with each other. So implementing uh, best practices in sandboxing is around more like kind of minimizing risk, enhances security, and also ensuring tasks are executed under control condition. This is particularly important for large scale deployment. So that's um, another key component that you need to consider when you are building any sort of um, AI agent. Framework, which is one of the critical component of a um, AI agent stack. So framework are the foundation of a uh, well structured AI agent stack. So they ensures the standardized and scalable place that can enable developer to create a robust agentic AI system. For example, we have like uh, frameworks like Leta or Crew AI, which is a very popular Python framework that can enable uh, building um, a multi agentic system. Uh, and it, it's it's something that I, I see like a lot of developer now leveraging. There is also a, like an enterprise version of it as well, so that you can just um, use a like a more like kind of a managed multiple multi agent um, uh, agentic system. So select um, a framework based on your goal, whether it's a scaling the agent system or integrating with the external services. So. Choosing the right framework is another crucial thing that you need to consider when you are building any sort of uh, agentic system. Observability and monitoring. Like any other solution and application, observability also is a key for tracking and maintaining the performance uh, um, of the agent. So we got like platform like LangSmith, which is which can help to monitor behaviors, interaction, and also resource usage of the um, AI agent, and also provide the insight that is needed to continuously optimize the operation and also the performance of the agent. So the things that you need to consider is the metrics around response time, error rate, and overall use resource usage uh, 
that need to be monitored in order to identify area for improvement. So this monitoring and observability solution ensures that the system continuously operate efficiently and also meet the user needs and expectation. The next component of agentic um, AI stack is virtual agent, which actually acts as the user facing component of the AI stack and enables interacting with users and even other systems. Um, virtual agents facilitate real-time communication, handle user queries, perform tasks, and provide information in a seamless, natural manner. And it's more like a kind of voice or face of the AI agent and make the technology more accessible and engaging. There are like a number of platforms that can be used to build uh, virtual agent. Um, things like Multion, which is one of the specialized multi-model interaction virtual agent that can allow build agent that can process and respond to a combination of task, visual, and also other input types. And it's very ideal for educational tools, uh, creative platform, and also collaborative virtual work uh, workspaces. Virtual agents are essential for bridging the gap between users and also the complex AI system. Think of them as the front desk of the AI stack. Um, to make the virtual agent successful, focus on the understanding of uh, natural languages. Users should feel they are speaking to a knowledgeable assistant, not just a machine. Also, design those intuitive experience, smooth, error-free interaction that can build trust and engagement for, uh, for the user. The last but not least, uh, on, uh, focus on creating feedback mechanism so that user can provide feedback which can help you to continuously improve and ensure the agent stay relevant and efficient. Now let's put all these things together. So an AI, AI agent stack is like a puzzle. Each component fit together to create a powerful unified system. From selecting the right model to integrating tools, memory, and observability, each step is crucial for building an efficient AI workflow. Also, make sure to consider scalability for future growth. Use modular design for flexibility and prioritize security uh, for the whole environment. This can help you to build a robust, scalable AI system that can meet the diverse needs. All right, so we'll explore the essential elements and components of the AI agent stacks from module to memory, to tools, framework, and observability. All these components can need to work together to create an intelligent, scalable, and efficient system for solving complex tasks. So the future is exciting. So there's the advancement will go to things like memory system for better context ret retention, or multi-agent collaboration for team working among AI agents, and even modular framework that can drive adaptability and innovation. Thank you for joining me in this uh, module and learn about the AI agent stacks. If you found this content helpful, please subscribe to my channel for more insight, tutorial, and updates uh, on the latest uh, in AI and technology. We are excited to share this journey with you, so stay tuned for more. Thank you.